social media is a positive influence for fitness? I see both sides. I think it's positive because being getting fit has never been so easy because a lot of fitness professionals put their workouts for free out on Instagram or Facebook um, and offer advice on there. But then also anyone can do that. At the same time, the negative side is that anyone can do that. You can claim to have qualifications. You can claim to be this, that and this and give people anything to do and give people any diet to do that hasn't been nutritionally approved. Um, that can be dangerous. And also the dangers of the dangers of comparison in fitness, the physical attributes only, um, can be dangerous on social media because everyone likes to edit their pictures to look a certain way. I think in magazine culture for years, that's always been a known thing and all photos are, are photoshopped. Um, but with social media, I think especially when it first came around, people didn't know people were using Photoshop. So young girls and young boys would look at these images of normal people, you know, normal people who live wherever in England, wherever in the world, and have these ridiculous physiques and think that that's attainable because surely they're not using Photoshop because they're not professional models and they, these people are duping everyone <laughs> by doing things like that. Do you think that Instagram should start perhaps maybe in the same way magazines do labeling photos that if they have been Photoshop? That would be, what a great idea. Yeah, I absolutely agree. But the problem is you, you're not gonna do it and people aren't gonna do it. If people, I sometimes edit, I've got braces on and I edit teeth in because I've got gaps from my extractions. And sometimes I edit teeth in and I'm not, I wouldn't probably put at the bottom, I edited this or, you know, I was maybe doing a double chin and maybe I scooped it up, which is crazy. Crazy to think that we can't be ourselves. It's bonkers, but we all do it. I say we all, a lot of us do it. And do you think then if perhaps Instagram removed the likes from people's pages that it would make a positive change? I 100%. I think removing likes from Instagram will give people their life back. Some people have a career made out of Instagram, and that's fine. They could probably still do that to an extent, but it'll stop young girls looking when they get Instagram for the first time when they're doing 14, 15, and looking at someone who is very unnaturally slim in certain places or has unnaturally long legs because they aren't their legs because they've edited them and thinking that gets millions of likes. So in order to be liked in my life, I have to be taller, thinner, brighter teeth, blonder hair, browner hair, all this crazy stuff that you can edit at the touch of a button for free or 9.99 a month. Um, is how you become liked and loved and successful in life. I think it's crazy. Do you, have you ever used social media and then come away feeling disheartened by seeing these types of images that are posted online, these edited pictures? Totally, I think you do. I think now it's so obvious, it's more of an eye roll. It's more like, I can't believe they're doing that. But I don't think I've ever come off social media. I don't think I've ever scrolled through Instagram and closed the app feeling better about my day, myself, my life. I've never come off Instagram and been like, oh, I'm so glad I did that. It's usually, they're doing that, why aren't I doing that? I didn't get invited to that party. Oh, maybe, oh, she looks slim. I should do more gym. Or, wow, her career really took off. I need, you never leave, you can leave feeling inspired, maybe, sometimes, but you never feel like your day has been enhanced by scrolling through Instagram. And it's the thing that most of us do first thing in the morning and last thing at night.